Hey guys, I wanted to take a picture of uh, Comet C2019 Atlas. This comet is going to be visible to the naked eye in a couple of months. I think by May, I think we will see this comet. It is like a fifth magnitude. I don't think we will be able to see the big tail and uh, you know the way the huge comets are, but probably we might see this comet like a tiny star. If you want to know the details of the comets, most of the comets that we see, they're actually kind of inside our solar system. So anything that comes from an outside solar system, we call it as, uh, you know, the comet Borisov, which is the interstellar comet. The reason why we call it interstellar is because that comet is not from our solar system. So if you look at the C2019 Atlas, uh, C2019 means we found this comet just like you know, a few months ago, we are finding more and more of these comets because our uh, telescopes and our cameras are getting better and better, the technology. So now we are discovering more asteroids and more comets than ever before. When I was getting into the astrophotography, I always wanted to take a picture of a comet, but I didn't know how to take it because I knew comets are moving faster than the stars and these mounds are you know, designed to move at the same speed as the stars, not at the speed of the comet. Comet is actually moving faster than the stars. So if I try to take a picture, like, you know, two minutes, three minutes, I'll see a big line going, not really, you know, you're taking a moving target. Uh, if you take a shorter exposure of a comet, let's say you took like 15 seconds, 10 seconds, you may not get any details. You don't see the coma around the comet. That's where the faster scopes are going to come and help us. We can take a good picture of a comet and with a good exposure time, if you actually use a faster astrograph. That was one of the main purposes of taking an F2 system towards the comets because you actually can get a better picture of the comet. You don't need to use like a monochrome camera, like you know, the black and white kind of camera. You, you can use like the color camera to take a pretty good picture. All you have to do is put some filters like IR UV filters, like cut filters, and uh, take a pretty good picture of the comet. So as I was saying, the comets are moving faster than the, than the stars. So how do you take a picture? So if you track your stars using the PhD2 software, you are tracking on the star, not on the comet. So you cannot really take a longer exposure because the comet will show the comet trail, not really the comet itself. So you have to take multiple exposures of the comet and then stack. So when you try to take you know, multiple pictures and try to stack one on top of the other, the comet is the one that is moving. So if you stack based on the comet, you see star trails, stars are moving, right? If you do it based on the stars, you don't get the comet. So you have to integrate both the comet as well as the stars separately and then you have to combine them in order to get a good picture. There is a process in PixInsight called comet integration. I use that software in order to take a good picture of a comet. I might be able to take a good picture of that comet in the next coming months as it is getting closer and closer to us. If you are new to this channel, I take pictures of comets, asteroids, planets, deep space objects like galaxies, nebula. So if you are interested in watching these uh, videos, uh, please feel free to subscribe to my channel and uh, click on the notifications button. Let me show you guys how I captured uh, C2019 Atlas. Thank you for watching.